Hello and welcome. It's the Christmas edition of Conversations. My name is Nike. As you know, Conversations is about everything under the sun and things that pertain to you and me. I've got three beautiful ladies in the house and I'm going to let them introduce themselves before we talk about Christmas. Hi, my name is Enobong Robin. I'm just here to eat all the entertainment <laughs> because it's Christmas. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Lynette Obaji. Um, I just love Christmas and I love to give my opinions about different things. So now that both of you are done introducing yourself, you are here to eat, you love to give opinions. What am I here to do? Support, well, definitely. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. My name is Vanessa. I'm here to support whatever it is. <laughs> Vanessa, Lynette, Enelbong, and myself today will be talking about Christmas, the concept of giving, sharing, and a whole lot more. We'll be right back here in the Conversations Room after this. Have you ever wondered why some men cannot finish using the towel? and just hang it back somewhere in the bathroom. <laughs> Why would they have to throw it on the bed? Little things like that, they're put off. Have you ever wondered why a grown man with a wife and kids will go to the toilet, the lavatory, to ease himself to do number one, to pee, right? He takes the seat up, he flips out that thing. The moment he starts peeing, he flushes the toilet. Right? Mm -hmm. the, toilet, the toilet does its own bit. The flushing is done before the pee is done. Oh, so four liters of water is wasted. The pee is still there. Oh my goodness. It doesn't put the seat back down. It doesn't reflush. It doesn't wash his hands. He walks away. Ooh. That's why I don't like shaking men, by the way. Mm. There's a particular thing we know many men to be very, very guilty of, and that's throwing their shoes and stockings all over. Mm. Um, maybe men are going to be better not throwing it around but you can just there's one song that had those smelly feet and keep it for you in the living room women don't like it welcome back it's conversations here on nta we're talking about Christmas, and it's a peculiar kind of Christmas. Mm. We all know a lot of us were home for months and weeks at a stretch just because of the pandemic, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So how has that affected Christmas for you and me? Let's hear from Enobong. <coughs> for me, I've heard a lot of people saying, oh, this year has been a mess, and I agree. But when it comes to Christmas, even though I don't have all the money in the world right now to celebrate like I would, but I am happy to be alive. I, am, I look forward to my chicken, my <laughs> turkey, whatever it is I'm cooking, because I don't have money to buy yet, but let's just say. <laughs> but I'm happy to be alive to celebrate mm -hmm. this year's Christmas because the year has been long. Charming. What has hit us this year could take 10 years and the effect will still be very devastating. Mm -hmm. But imagine us having all that in one year. It's been it's a lot. the year. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to celebrate Christmas. I'm happy to share whatever it is I have with my friends, even if it's card, biscuits, got an egg, whatever. So yeah, I'm yeah. here for the conversation. Yeah, mm -hmm. Lynette, yeah. and we really have Christmas with no money. You know it affected a lot of businesses. Uh, yeah, so. Well, I, I only imagine how Christmas is going to be like this year. Even uh, within the city of Abuja, you don't have as much decorations as you would normally. I you noticed. Know? So um, you pass through some places and then you're Im imagining, that, oh, what kind of lights would they have this year? And then there's nothing. You know, and then there's some other places that remind you, okay, it's Christmas. And, I'm, and in my head, I'm like, okay, so what's up this Christmas? You know, like... People are just different, and um, there are more people in Abuja as, I mean, as compared to other years. By now, many people would have traveled, mm -hmm. yeah. but then everybody's just, you know, lingering and <laughs> wondering what's going to happen. It's, it's been a tough year, actually, mm -hmm. but for me, I can say it was one of my best years yet. No way. I, I, I know, right? It was. I, <laughs> I actually thought, I don't like being bored. 
and I don't like not doing anything. Okay. So I thought about different ways I could uh, make do with the time I had. For instance, I wrote a book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. Wow. I did. I couldn't just sit idle. I was almost losing it. Like, why would I just sit down doing nothing? So I wrote a children's book. Wow. It's uh, it has a bit of phonology. It has a bit of pictures and then colorings and all of that. So I found something good to do. So it wasn't uh, too terrible. I mean, apart from so you're the cashing up. I know, right? <laughs> 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 and then again, I, I had a little space to move around a little bit, just a little bit with the right permission. Okay. And um, I was doing a little research on um, alternative energy. Mm. And yeah, I, I came up with some strategies that could actually, you know, help people. Uh, like, Let's talk about that later. <laughs> but I was busy during that period. Okay, Vanessa, tell us about your own post-COVID. Uh, can we say post-COVID or yes. after the lockdown? Um, during, and after answers. Mm -hmm. Before, after. Yeah. Um, like we all know, mm -hmm. we're all in one place for a very long time. And um, I think you and I both, I discovered myself. I discovered I could write. Yeah, I discovered I could write. I could actually... All the things I had in my head, I could put it down. Mm -hmm. So um, then I discovered the passion I had for um, herbalism grew. Now, while there was no cure for COVID, it was more like experimental. Um, everybody was try this, try that. Yeah. Now, with my knowledge, now uh, I'm actually a chemist. I read chemistry. So my knowledge of chemistry and specifically organic chemistry, okay. I was able to look into a couple of the things we have around us mm -hmm. food herbs mm -hmm. vegetables that actually can help mm -hmm. like dice down covid symptoms and all of that now mm. if you were on my facebook handle mm. you'll notice that i did all of <laughs> yeah. put it out there for a whole lot as an educational piece and then like i said i discovered myself i could write more um then it was it was fun basically mm. now that was during covid mm -hmm. now after covid uh, the wave it hits mm -hmm. yeah. there's no money mm -hmm. the, the little no we have we're ways. actually struggling to to see make to it, it go around make it go round, make it so christmas for me uh, i don't know if it's global warming or covid have you <laughs> noticed there's no hamatan mm -hmm. yes. I've noticed. yeah hamatan is late yes yeah so I don't know whether Santa comes is the one that usually lets it go out and this time around he's on hibernation. So it's still a lot of We have more heat than Hamatan. Maybe Christmas is in January. Maybe, maybe. I think so. Yes. So perhaps Santa is still shocked. And then Hamatan is still on lockdown or something because there's no Hamatan. It's really hot. It's very hot. It's still very hot. And I haven't heard Christmas Carol. I don't know about you. That's true. Stop it! I've heard only of only one. I didn't play in the studio. We can dance a little. <laughs> we should. I've not had oh, for this yeah. that had, I've not then on the seventh day of Christmas. No, What's no going 12 on? days of Christmas. Yes. Uh, 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 no, no, no. We need to dance to that. People because we cannot are yeah. no, 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 no. A lot of things. Uh, let's do our own Christmas here. Yeah, just in case. I don't know. I've not heard any Christmas carols. So it's actually... But like Emma Bong said, I look forward to the chicken. Mm -hmm. Like where I'm from, rice and chicken is not really a thingy. Okay. It's the swallow, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. yam, mm -hmm. pounded yam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what is the thing. Mm -hmm. So I look forward to that. And then there's this delicacy soup. There's this soup that is actually for the season. They call it gengi. Mm -hmm. It's a draw soup. Gengi very yeah. uh, <laughs> Which kind <laughs> of <laughs> Give me five <laughs> babes. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. 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 Yes, then I look deep. forward to a whole lot of activities for us in Benue. Okay. We have the Keisha Shua, we have the FFF, we have the Benue High Group, what I'm wearing. We, okay. hike, we have a, an event for this December, the search, which I am looking forward to because I'm an organizer. So I'm actually looking forward to it. So with, uh, no matter how bad it sounds, for me, I still look for. I'm looking forward to it because it's So the be flex fun. is on. Yeah. Oh, I'm already flexing. You know, so <laughs> you know, you know, you know what I'm hearing from <laughs> Vanessa. I, yeah. You know, you're talking about going to Benue. So you have no issues with traveling this season, obviously. Benue is by the corner. It's not really. So yesterday. flight ticket is not affecting. I came back. No, there are no flights to Benue. Oh, really? <laughs> no, babe, no. sweet. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
earpiece landed which day. Are you kidding me? I didn't know. 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 I didn't the other airlines, Lagos, Abuja, Lagos, it be cheaper because it's um, so close. For those that booked earlier, they said it was fair. Mm -hmm. We had 23, 25. From Abuja? Mm. Yes. Wow. But it actually comes in, yes. It came, the first flight, it came in from Lagos. Last week? Okay. Which day? Mm -hmm. No, on Tuesday. No, first flight came in on Monday. Mm -hmm. That was the first time it landed, Monday. Oh, nice. So it came in Lagos, Abuja, Makadi, Makadi, Abuja, Lagos. Wow. Oh, so nice. there's flights. Oh, nice. Well, like I said, it's not far. Four what hours. is the craze with airline, two and a half. aviation industry, and tripling the price of should I, I tell you my theory? Doing, I don't know. I don't know. What's going on? I feel because they've been inactive for so many months, maybe they they're just trying up? to catch up. Last year was the same thing. No, yeah, before before that, it was never 100,000 naira <coughs> in Obong. Last year, um, at some point, from Abuja to Calabar was 80 something thousand for economy tickets. Mm, okay. Normally, you can get 23. Mm -hmm, if you mm -hmm. book ahead, you can exactly. get less than that. So, I heard somebody say that was last year. There was no COVID last year. So, this year, so the question is it's the aviation industry. There's the something aviation. going on. There's, so something, there's something about the if they're doing Christmas, why can't they do about promo? the season? Give us last minute. Exactly. Like, last minute. So, for the price of yeah, whatever happens to promotions this season, exactly. I don't see where. Was it a Black Friday? I don't Was it a Black Friday this year? I don't know. The usual crazy no. rush videos from abroad, the ones we usually see where people no. rush into stores. No, no. You well, see them? no. Well, we can't see people no. rush like that because, of course, social distance, distancing and also mm -hmm. they had to manage it in a different kind of way. So it re really wasn't the Black Friday with all the rush and everything. Someone mm -hmm. has hijacked Christmas. We need to find that person. <laughs> it's COVID. <laughs> COVID, <laughs> COVID, <laughs> COVID, COVID, <laughs> COVID hijacked COVID. Christmas. But you know how at, at the end of the year, People do a lot more visits to the orphanages, mm -hmm. you know, people get 13 months, some offices give 13 months. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's that spirit of giving. Mm. Do you feel that that's lingering right now? I don't, yes. I don't see people dropping off bags of rice and, uh, you know, you know kegs of oil. Rice Not yeah, in my house. Yeah. Yeah. There, there, I haven't seen any bag of rice at my own gate. <laughs> <laughs> How much is a bag of rice? Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four thousand naira. You know about the orphanage. That's an area that you know is. I have a soft spot for that. Yeah. I am very close to orphans. I teach them during the weekends. Like the younger children, I teach them English language. Then the older ones, I teach them uh, public speaking. Mm. Then the ones who are interested, uh, broadcast presentation. Oh, awesome! Yeah. So uh, the thing is. It was sad during the lockdown because I went to many orphanages and they had nothing to eat. You know, so I spent a lot of time looking for orphanages in the outskirts and, you know, getting other people to make donations mm -hmm. because I found out that I couldn't do it alone. Mm -hmm. You know, all these years I felt like registering an NGO, but then there's this thing attached to an NGO thing. I was like, oh, I don't want to be tagged that thing yes. you know but then i realized i couldn't do it alone so i decided to register an ngo so that people have a, a, a formal platform where they could actually help but then you get to see and then even participate yes. and for me i want to see the day that you know orphans can actually go to school for free you know or learn a skill for mm -hmm. free that's one of my passions. So I reach out to them, and especially, I mean, all of them, but I'm very passionate about the ones in places like Maraba, Nyanya, uh, Karu. If you go there, you probably cry. Like they just lie on a bed sheet or a mattress that has lots of holes and things like that. So I think that people should make conscious efforts this period to reach out to them because they're suffering the most, I think. I think that's what I would say. Yeah. They're suffering the most from what I saw. It's, it's a very sad situation, you know? So people should think of um, that. I like the way that you, you talked to people like reaching out and doing stuff, but there, there are some people that didn't actually get salaries. Yes. Some people are home and were able to get salaries. Some were not. Some people got half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister got a, just a percentage out of her actual, you know, take Salary, home every yeah. month. Um, so it, I feel it's even going to be more difficult for um, some homes to receive the aid that they usually do every year. Because uh, most of these... Uh, 
homes ex you know, know that in December, that's when the bags of rice come in mm -hmm. and all the seasoning oh, yeah. and yes. everything else. But uh, it's going to be a bit more difficult. So it's really great that you're, you're actually making this call for people who can to do so as well. Even exactly. not just, you know, um, less privileged, but family members as well. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us, you know, when you see that call from that uncle the sixth, seventh time, you're like, oh, no, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or WhatsApp message. Let's not even talk about WhatsApp, mm. you know. And you, so, so there are family members that actually do need your help. So if you can give, I think it's a great it's, opportunity mm -hmm to give as well. Yeah, because I mean, what's Christmas about? It's supposed to be sharing. a season for love. sharing, love, giving, mm -hmm. and forgiving, you know, and mm -hmm. then Thanksgiving. Just think about everything that's happened during the year yeah. and be thankful yeah. for where you are because it could have been worse. I have a thought. Um, okay. Christmas or parties, are the parties back? Hmm. I, I, I tend to think okay. that Nigerians are back to party. But let's just chew on that for a minute. Uh -huh. We'll take a quick break here in the conversation room. And the ladies are talking about Christmas. Coronavirus is real. Steps to avoid this pandemic. Wash your hands regularly. Or sanitize your hands. Keep social and physical distancing. Avoid crowded places. Stay at home unless absolutely necessary. Don't touch your eyes, nose or mouth if your hands are not clean. Avoid the spread of coronavirus. Coronavirus is real. Welcome back. We're talking about Christmas here on Conversations. Are people back to partying? That's what I want to know because I get invitations. I see some pictures on social media and I'm like, I don't see anyone on the dance floor <laughs> wearing a mask. And aren't you too close to that auntie? The other <laughs> What's going on? Have we forgotten? Have we thrown out caution into the wind? Why aren't we practicing all the things that they told us to practice at the very beginning? So let me tell you what happened last month. I think three weeks ago. Um, there, there was a wedding in my church. My church is really big. The auditorium is really big. So whether you wear a mask or not, you can do proper social distancing okay. mm -hmm. and you won't really be scared. But I decided as the extra person that I am to go for the reception. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let me describe this, please. It's in a basement of a hotel. Okay. A basement. It was decorated in a way that for you to even pass, you don't have, so you need to squeeze yourself in. The windows was locked and they used decoration like fabrics to, you know, decorate the entire place. So you couldn't even get so to the window. So it's airtight. <laughs> oh boy. And I walk in there and not one person is wearing a mask. Is wearing a mask. Oh, wow. Interesting. Not one person. And I pull out my mask and I my friend was like, no, but you're extra. I said, no, I'm not extra. When I, I don't want to die now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nothing to write in my biography. Jokes <laughs> apart. <laughs> but <laughs> This place is so badly ventilated. And then you have infants, you have adults. Really? I am the See? only person wearing, wearing a, mask. a mask. Really? So everybody looked at me like an alien. Someone walked up to me like, oh, do you have COVID? I said, no. So why are you wearing a mask? I said, what? I said, where, where are you? This is, this is, we are in 2020. I said, okay, since I'm the only one wearing a mask, I better carry myself and go. And Jollof go. rice is over. So I make to leave, and at that point, the couple, they are arriving, and they, apart from dancing, they, um, these fireworks, what do you call yes, it? The, the thing that, the fireworks. Mm -hmm. And to, for you to imagine how bad, badly ventilated that place was, when the fireworks went off, the smoking. whole place was smoking. Goodness. So my calculation is, if only fireworks is smoking like this, imagine <laughs> oh. if one person had COVID then. has COVID in this place. Everybody's at yeah. risk. So I don't know why people take this COVID For as granted. a joke. You know, we have information out there. We have 
broadcast that there is nothing you want to know about COVID, you cannot know. Just clicking the internet. If you, if you don't have somebody around you die from this thing, why do you take life for granted? Why do you take other people's life for granted? I left. They did their party. I pray nobody has it, but I actually haven't been to church since then because mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to, I'm not going to risk it, but honestly speaking, the culture that people people think this is a this is um, a hoax, this is joke, fake, yes. this is um, people, I don't understand. It's, 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 it's horrible. Fake. We're just fortunate to be in this part of the world where I think the weather has helped us not to be affected as other places. People are dying in the Western world on a daily basis yes. with all the technology and the knowledge and everything they have. So we're just blessed, I guess, and then perhaps maybe God's protection over, you know, they say that um, God keeps away flies from the tailless cow. Mm -hmm. So perhaps we're tailless and a bit ignorant. Mm. And then God has just decided, oh, well, let me keep them. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Otherwise, I don't because know what else if, to say. Like, you know, England, the, 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 they almost had another lockdown. Mm -hmm. I think some parts of it yes, have, have yeah. gone yeah. back. There's a, America, there's a people have been dying on the rise. Like, yes. they've had the highest number of yes. deaths mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. well, Imagine if 5% of the deaths recorded in other parts of the world Absolutely. was recorded in Nigeria. That would be all. Oh. Mm. Would be wiped Five percent. Would be wiped Imagine. Two. Or let's say two mm. percent. Imagine. Mm. So when people take this for granted, I am hurt because anyway, I think ignorance has played a key, but exactly. you, you can't use ignorance because there's information. There's information. There's but information. There's information. People don't ignorance. believe it's the information. Just, it's, um, just Are we tired? No, it's is carelessness. It carelessness? Or, or no, we're, we're just, just being tired careless. Of, you know, no, we're just being careless. The routine. We're just being careless and, you know, we're not, we're not used to to, to taking orders. Exactly. You, you don't want to be boxed you, you in. You see, it's, yeah, it's, no. it's clearly written, do not urinate here. And then somebody is there. What is that? And then why is that see? example? She <laughs> 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 had a juice in her hand. She had a in her hand. Why? 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 Oh, you see the situation where it's like, do not touch the wall, and then you see somebody is seriously <laughs> plastering <laughs> after reading. <laughs> and then having a white wall, and you're like, don't touch the wall. And the person is there. So we, 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 we just have this thing with us where we don't take instruction. Oh Even the children at home, don't touch that. <laughs> And then he's looking at you and they're trying <laughs> to see your reaction. <laughs> so I think it's just us and not listening to, just feeling like we can't be told what to do. Let me tell you what happened. I usually I'm on leave, so I'm mostly at home trying to work on my on schoolwork and all of that. So I'm home basically. Oh my god, very good day. You could call me. Where are you? I'm home. You call me tomorrow. I'm home. And you know, all week I'm indoors. And mm -hmm. the day I heard lockdown. Mm -hmm. The day was announced, there was a broadcast. We're shutting down at 11.59 p.m. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. The next day I jumped into my car and I drove home. Are you kidding me? Don't lock me inside the house, please. Are, are you kidding me? I'm already inside the house. You're okay? already oh, locked. Why don't you just exactly. go in the floor? I'm, home, I'm, home. I'm, just, I'm, I'm there, I'm home. But don't tell me you want to lock me in. Mm -mm. Oh, so you had to break the rules? I, I left. I went home. Your brain just told you. And when I go home, ask me what I did when I got to Makadi. I was Nothing. still indoors. Yeah. So what stopped me from staying here at first start? So what I'm trying to say is that we have a thing with not following instruction. We have a thing with do not, and that is when we all want, want to. to do. You remember when they said <laughs> don't touch your face? That was where everybody wanted to touch their face. Do not. Well, touch I, I found nose. myself do not doing do, that. We I wasn't. Really? That. No, I wasn't. Oh. I do it all the you time. So. You oh. Oh. That was when everybody had something on their face at that point. <laughs> Are you so serious? Other people were looking for something to pick on their faces. So oh, we do have a thing with not wanting to follow instruction. <clears throat> COVID-19 compliant. You will not, no entry without mask. We look at it and I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. <coughs> so let me you know, ask you. people arguing even. This Christmas. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Are you, if you get invites for wedding? I've not attended a wedding. I did attend a wedding. Are you going to attend? I did so attend. So no Christmas. It was no. outdoor. The, the, event I'm, the events I'm looking forward to are all outdoor events. Okay. Okay. Now, if you have an event and it's outdoor, I'm glad I will be there mm -hmm. because, like you rightly said, you can't invite me. I'm already, I already have issues with tight corners. I don't. I, I already have Nassau issues, mm -hmm. so oh, okay. Wow. 
I already had nasal issues. So once the oxygen in an environment is not enough, you tried. You really tried because I won't spend five minutes in that basement. Mm. I won't. The moment I walk in, it gets to that point at which my my I begin to sense lack of oxygen immediately and I start feeling faint. So you're like so, claustrophobic? No, no, no. Okay. I have nasal issues. Okay. okay. So because of that, I am looking for where there's, there's enough, there's yeah, enough, yeah, enough air. oxygen. So if the oxygen is not enough, you won't find me. So if you're going to invite me for an event and you it's there's no proper ventilation, mm -hmm. you will not find me there. Wow. So like I said, I have not been to one yet. I have. All the, the, I I had, have I, the one I was I actually should have been at on Wednesday. I I had something official to attend to, so I couldn't. Okay. Then the one I was at on Saturday, there was space proper spacing and we had our masks on so basically i am trying on my end i'm trying on i'm trying to make sure the person close to me is trying on his or her own end mm -hmm. so the thing is we just shall do the right thing mm -hmm. and encourage those around us to do the right thing and then we the lesser if five if four of us don't attend mm -hmm. the lesser crowd so yeah. it mm -hmm. doesn't be there with with the events we have Shiloh for instance went mm -hmm. viral nobody was clustered anymore where we watched it from the comfort from the of our home experience yesterday we watched it from the comfort of our homes and mm -hmm. all of that so it's possible we can actually be there mm -hmm. but we cannot be there in person so mm -hmm. let's look for the other option like you said oh, it's no joke i read two days ago in california or so has the biggest death since as at, i think two, two three days ago i was reading it you can imagine. and this is the second wave of it so we need to take it seriously and especially this christmas period so um let's try to discourage why am i visiting must we visit Chevy is rice and fowl i'm interested in lynette's experience you said you were at a wedding recently yes i was and did they practice proper social, social distance yes the, the spaces apart was so did you wear a mask did you wear a shield do no, you think I there's didn't. a big difference in uh, the two yes there were many people okay. you know and then you want to see the regular dance floor and everybody clustering around okay. so it was different but it was interesting but still different okay mm. so for people that have always made a tradition of doing christmas party hmm. would you attend even <gasps> if you i mean you you already know my uncle always does christmas party <laughs> It needs to be a different kind of Christmas, Christmas party. party. Is it that we all wear it's not the masks? conventional one? Yes, yeah, no mm. longer conventional. And it has to no be outdoor. The conventional it's party. outdoor. That's fine. Outdoor you, will you call Uncle and tell him this? Mm? Will you call him? Perhaps. Uh, well, I could. As, as God will have it. Um, oh, well. Let's on when, we, when I get to that bridge, I'll <laughs> <Yes. cross> <laughs> <laughs> So something happened on Wednesday. I'm at the bank, the customer care session. So obviously banks don't joke with social distance mm -hmm. they don't. so everybody Most. everybody in that space had their mask on everybody's observing social distance mm -hmm. it was peaceful it was nice mm -hmm. and i was the last person on the queue so i mean obviously be moving forward and then some group of young this guy two ladies they came so when they say next, you move forward. Mm -hmm. You expect that the person behind you will keep a safe distance. Do you get? <laughs> and this girl is moving <laughs> towards <laughs> me. Did you freak I said, okay, no, but calm down. You're wearing mask. Calm down. You're wearing mask. <laughs> and it happened again next, and I moved. And the girl, three of them, they were just things. So I, I, I know they are friends, obviously. Mm -hmm. Three of them just moved very close to me. I just shouted, social distance. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the back was shocked. <laughs> Are you serious? The lady that just called me said, Madam, I'm calling me at 30. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly speaking, I was so freaked out when I, I didn't I didn't know when I sh I yelled social distance. <laughs> because in my head I was like, this people have brought COVID to come and give Are me a call and it's okay. Oh dear. <laughs> I have been so conscious. Are you aware that before, you know, some like um let me use Maraba for instance. If you wear a mask then now, people will run away from you. Yes. They'll say you have COVID. Yes. I'm you surprised. brought the rich yes, people's you brought, sickness. Yes, you brought the rich them. people's sickness and then the, the run. So it, it's referred to as rich people's sickness. So you, you shouldn't wear it. Is that what you're saying? I don't even it's know the, what the answer the to that mentality. question is. That's the mentality. Basically, what she's trying to say is that some people understand it differently. Exactly. Yes. The awareness, as much as we feel there's enough awareness, the awareness is not enough. 
I think so. So people get so, to misunderstand it. Exactly. So, um, the same thing somebody asked you. I wore, where was I? I wore a mask and somebody asked me, do you have COVID? Oh, wow. you see. And I'm like, it's not a joke. No, it's no. not. Seriously, it's not a joke. No. Like, and I'm crazy. like, no, I don't have COVID. So why are you wearing a mask? I said, um, the last time I checked, it wasn't for. <laughs> for those who have for COVID. For those who had COVID. What's it was to prevent? To prevent no, COVID. To prevent. Yes. So I don't understand why I have to, why the question? Mm -hmm. And he just walked away. Mm -hmm. You know, actually tapped me to ask. <laughs> wow. <laughs> are you serious? You know, I, I think it's Amala joint. I think it's Amala. I can't really remember what. But I wasn't. I was well on cue and I had my mask on. Mm -hmm. and, Do you have COVID? Oh wow. wow. I said, no. And I, I people tend to forget wow. that some people actually do have. COVID-19 mm -hmm. but are asymptomatic mm -hmm. they probably aren't coughing or mm -hmm. you, know, you you just don't know you can't be so sure. sure so why don't you just give that bit of distance wear your mask wear your shield I know a lot of women we are very particular about our makeup being smart mm -hmm. so they don't want to I honestly when definitely. I slap on the lipstick I'm like <laughs> <laughs> you know if I have to wear a mask I, have, I always have it in my bag okay and then I would um, you know pop my lips bend them, fold them in while the mask is on. Throughout? Throughout. So if yeah. you ask any question, oh. I'll probably not ask that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. so, speaking of Christmas, the social part of it, this year's social Christmas team is Bone Straight Hair. Yes. Who has their Bone Straight Hair? We are all in it. Who has? I don't have Bone Straight Hair. What's Bone Straight Hair? Oh. That's another one, please. <laughs> okay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you know, they really straight ones mm -hmm. that get all the way to your waist. And 28, all. 30 inch uh, is a wig or weave on or something. You well, can use it for any of your weave on, but I have a problem with what you people are wearing. No okay. way. I will not last five minutes. Really? Because really? of the heat. So you are you are X. So I am X. Yeah, like I'm five X. <laughs> you I'm five X. <laughs> well, I have both straight. Yes. I would yes. like to have. No, I would like to have, but I understand that you have to sell like four of your tires to buy it. <laughs> so Depending on the tires. I mean, yes. uh, my yes. tires. Yes. definitely won't be keke tires. I know. I know. My kids have to get, go back to school in January. No. Uh, mm -hmm. I uh, know okay. to bone straight. I don't, it looks I nice. That's, yeah, well, that's a it no is nice. It's 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 classy. It's, it's uh, classy. It's wonderful. It's classy but, it. Um, mm, question. <laughs> you need to forgive me. I'm actually lost. <laughs> really? no, I, wow. I, I miss the days when Christmas hair was just going for a wash and set, put lotta body, put plasta, oh. <laughs> put pink oil. And then no, I said, that's it. Yeah. 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 So the Christmas hair, and you're, you're getting palpitations because you know you can't afford it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why, 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 why did we, how did we get here? I don't know. I think we were just following the trend or no, something. Trend, I yeah. don't, honestly, I don't follow trends. The, who who makes who make, exactly? Who I'm going to say trend. that. Who makes these trends? Who Someone makes them? Did, so. What stop? What's what? What stops me from being the trend? I know, right? Do you understand? What, why won't I be the trend? Why do I have to follow, follow somebody from else. being the trend? Mm -hmm. You know, actually, social I, media. I have your hair, so I'm actually thinking of what <laughs> your hair right now. So. What's the bone straight? When I can actually do this? Mm. You know, social legal, media too. also, the influence oh, from the <laughs> Western <laughs> world. <laughs> when I live here, the influence you know, from other countries, that mm. is, I mean, as long as there's Instagram and Facebook and all these other platforms, as long as you can open it and see someone on the other side of the world doing it. You someone know? you admire. Someone you admire. Yes, that's the and thing. the thing is, we forget to, we forget that they don't have to shoot someone or, or break a leg. <laughs> They can afford it. Oh. This hair is expensive. That's what I'm saying. Mm. These people don't have to kill somebody. Mm. They don't have to shoot anybody. Mm. They don't have to go that extra. Okay, mm. fine. You saw it on Beyonce and you liked it and you want it. Mm -hmm. Beyonce can Beyonce have like really? how many of those things. <laughs> Beyonce will buy a factory exactly. one day. Exactly. <laughs> you really? can even get, get it as a gift. Mm -hmm. And then here you are. You want to kill yourself over what? Mm. Now, going back to the question about the parties, if you ask me, it's really not necessary this period mm -hmm. because it's tight mm -hmm. it's it's tight financially it's tight socially uh, we would have a we would have a okay fine if it's if it's because we want to come together and celebrate life mm -hmm. i understand mm -hmm. but if it's the usual show off we usually do mm -hmm. if you ask me there's no point 
there is really, really no point. And then we have come to understand that we can actually still have a meeting. We can actually still have a meet without being there. Mm -hmm. So what's stopping us from buying data and everybody being on Zoom? So we should do a Zoom Christmas party. Let's do a party. Zoom party. Zoom I, it was with COVID, I knew there's something called Zoom party with the children. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, there's Zoom party. But I don't understand attending a Zoom party and still being hungry. I didn't get the pepper snail. Well, I didn't get... Is, um, I'm sorry. No, like someone described it to me. Like, <laughs> Did you just do that? <laughs> sorry. August? Yeah, my birthday was in August. Your, then, your, your birthday. Yes. yes. August 14th every year mm -hmm. so, uh, someone was like, noted oh, Nina, so what are you going to do i said i don't know we're still just coming out of covid and he said we could do a zoom party and i said so how do we share the cake he said order cakes for everyone uh, and get it delivered yes i'll get it delivered order food and everything i'm like hmm, hmm. sounds good but it's very expensive. <laughs> so I think that's a no. Anybody who wants cake should just come, come up. Come so by. What a Christmas yeah. card. Um, no. You know, when I was no, growing no. up, Christmas card used to be yes, a thing. And then you have a by now, around. our yes. whole house will be full of cards. cards. So is anybody doing that this year? I, I remember the so. ropes. We have all yeah. the <laughs> yeah, we had we had Christmas the, lights and cards. ornaments. Yeah, yes, cool. yes, I, I did that. trees and everything. For the kids, I don't have one in my house because I live alone. But I really want one. My mm -hmm. house is too small for it. I really want one. Mm. You think so? Maybe yeah. Someone will organize for I really want one. And I went to next Kasha and Kari to check, mm -hmm. and I saw the size I wanted for seventy-five thousand naira. Okay. Uh -uh. That was the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Christmas fair. My house had broken. Like why? Why is it so expensive? I'm right. ready to go and cut the tree. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Christmas and many more things here in the conversation room. And Obong wants to get a 75,000 uh, Christmas tree and no, her heart said no. Her mind. wallet said no. Yeah. We'll be right back talking about Christmas after this. We're celebrating Christmas here in the conversation room. We have Vanessa, Lynette, and Enobong talking about all things Christmas. So are you traveling? Do you intend to? Are you going to stay home? I intend to stay home. I am staying home, definitely. I'm not going anywhere. Vanessa? I told you. Oh, yes. You have a lot, have a lot on your plate this Christmas. What about you, Lynette? Orphanage. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, orphanage. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel sometimes even though those in the village will be expecting us to come home i think one of the biggest christmas presents you can give them apart from the credit alert mm. <laughs> i knew you were going to go there <laughs> <laughs> apart from the credit alert is actually staying back mm -hmm. uh, you know the mommies and grandmas at home would want to see you obviously mm -hmm. but i think one of the best the best gifts you can give them is staying back because you coming from the city and you talked about people seeing covid as even a rich man's disease disease you know, mm. um, but I don't know if m most of our parents, our relatives in the village will actually understand this, that, okay, I can't come home this year. Mm -hmm. But for uh, people outside of the country, too, uh, mm. I know there's been some advisories that they don't need to come home this year. But sad. It's, it's sad. It's hard but, you know, because of technology, the Zoom meetings we talked about, yes. WhatsApp calls, which mm. has saved many lives, you know, just being by being able to see your loved one on the other side of the... I, I think we can cope just for this year. Maybe next year... Hopefully things will be a bit better and we can move Perhaps. around just as we like. I mean, Perhaps. to be honest, cost-wise, I don't fancy traveling during Christmas. <coughs> oh, okay. Because one, the flight tickets will be mad expensive. Mm -hmm. Food stuff is expensive. People are expecting too much. Mm -hmm. You know, the expectation is high. Yes. But when you travel, let's say ending of January, everybody has gone back to default mood <coughs> and nobody's expecting anything from mm -hmm. you. So you can just go see your folks. Mm -hmm on a budget, you know, and come back. So I don't really fancy the whole Christmas traveling. I don't. Mm. Well, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but basically, wherever I am, I'm going to be within the premises of an orphanage. Mm. That's <coughs> the best thing for me. That's where I find okay. joy. That's where I find meaning for life. You know, when you look at those uh, little children and you think about how God protects them, God keeps them, God provides for them, it's just a way of uh, 
thanking him, you know, in your own small way. Because the truth is, um, there was a day I got back from work, and then in my head, something just bounced off an itch. And then something bounced again. Baby boy. I said, there's an orphanage somewhere where there's a baby boy that needs my attention. So seriously, I called um, one of uh, the attendants in the house. I said, get ready, we're going to the orphanage. Take my debit card, go to ShopRite, and I, I gave him a list with my pin and everything. So he left while I got dressed, and then he came back. I said, I don't know where this orphanage is, but I know I'm going to meet the baby boy. Okay. So just then my phone rang and uh, I was, you know, in a hurry and then the other person on the, uh, on the phone said, uh, where are you headed? Why are you sounding like that? I said, I'm actually going to an orphanage. She said, where? I said, I'm not sure. There's one. I hear UDV somewhere in Apple Settlement or something. I think, I don't know. She, she, then she asked, um, do you know where it is? I said, no. Then she said, okay, why not go to, there's another one, I think it's called Charity Foundation Home, something like that. And then um, I said, I don't know where, where it is. And she said she was there last week and it was a very pitiful situation and all of that. I said, okay, no problem. Could you describe the place? And she did. So I found it and I found a two weeks old boy when two I weeks? got there. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. So in my head, I was like, wow, perhaps I'm a prophetess or yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> And I, he had a very sad, interesting story. He was taken there by his mom. Wow. Aww. Yes. He was taken there by his mom. Um, while she was pregnant for him, her husband left. And she, she already had three children. And she felt she couldn't cope with the wow. burden. Mm. So she thought of terminating the pregnancy. But somehow she didn't. She even borrowed money to go and do that. Eventually she didn't. So she said, okay, why don't I just have the child and give the child away? So after she had the child, she put the child in a carton, in a box, and kept by the roadside and was leaving. And then, almost like she heard a voice asking, what if the wrong person picks him? So she went back and picked the boy and then took to the orphanage. She doesn't even stay in Abuja. Wow. So I couldn't even understand all of it. I'm still overwhelmed with the fact that I came back from work. I mean, these are two different mm -hmm. people who don't know each other. In my head, I hear orphanage and then baby boy. And I go there and I meet a two weeks old boy. So why would I be buying diapers? I started to buy diapers and other stuff for. I think a cardigan, I took a cardigan with blue uh, designs and all of that and I was just overwhelmed. And I think sometimes we should listen to this still little voice inside yeah. because it, it will give us the right guidance about what to do and what not to do. I think people should make more effort. Even if it's one spaghetti you can afford, buy it and take it there. Mm. Imagine if, I mean, a packet between 250, 250 naira to maybe 300, and you take it there. Imagine if 10 other people just spared 300 naira yeah. and took it there. You'll be able to feed the orphans for a while. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a, lo a loaf of bread, okay. you'd never know. I went to an orphanage where they had been fasting for three days, dry because they had no food. No food. What? Yes. Hmm. It's. Um, Somewhere in Maraba, I don't know all their names because there are so many. Mm. So they said, but I have like videos and pictures and all of that. I have all the account numbers. Each time I get money, I must send money to at least one. When I can, I send to all. If I can't, I just pick one randomly because they need help. Mm. They really need help. I, I like the fact that you also mentioned uh, money because sometimes you're not really sure. I, I know some often, I was at uh, an orphanage yesterday myself, mm -hmm. and um, they have some rules about what you can or cannot bring if you bring cooked food. Some people have mm -hmm. all sorts of sinister ulterior motives, mm -hmm. bring cooked mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. drop it, and not taste out of the food, mm -hmm. you know. So I, some of them have some rules. Mm -hmm. If you're bringing cooked food, 
um, you must eat out of, of that course, food. Of with course. The, I, I spent my, my birthday is in October, since nice. you had mentioned birthdays. Mm, nice. uh, so I spent my own birthday uh, with um, children at an orphanage, mm -hmm. and we ate together. Mm -hmm. We drank nice. together, and they prayed, and I, I left. And I feel that some of us should make an effort to do these, not just do these things not just during Christmas period but, but all year round my mind I kept thinking about you know orphanages during the COVID period mm -hmm. because I'm like okay if I'm broke what's going on with that what's going on over there you know so it's it's also a great idea it doesn't always have to be spaghetti or Milo money money I think is mm -hmm. money is the right size yes. toiletries, toiletries yes. you know so money, detergent money is the right money size. Is always, they could, is the right they size, could buy right whatever. color is the right shape. Yes. It's everything. Mm -hmm. Money always works. Mm -hmm. You can always give. A bit. And like you said, it doesn't have to be cartons. It doesn't have to be a full mm -hmm. envelope mm -hmm. of money. Mm -hmm. But money, money also works. You mm -hmm. can do that as well. Yes. So it's all about the spirit of giving, uh, giving back. To just we're lucky. I we're, we are very we lucky are on this yes. side mm -hmm. of the, of the equator to yes. to be alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be you know to be able to go out and what some of people abroad and so many so many of them can't even go out they can't go to the shops they yep. order in mm -hmm. my cousin is in the uk and she has to order everything she wants and it gets delivered to her doorstep and mm -hmm. that's it no contact between herself and the person who delivered we're able to go out i can go to the markets and come back so just because we have life let's try and give to others as well yeah <clears throat> this is touching. I think one thing I'll do from next year is try to visit orphanages. I nice. I always make excuses. I used to be in Leo Club, um, and uh, when I moved to Abuja, I was like, "Oh my, me, I'm a charity case. I cannot do charity." Mm -hmm. You know, and I laugh about it because for me, humor helps me relieve my stress. Mm -hmm. And um, but I think nothing is too small. Mm. You know, for me to be able to feed myself, clothe myself, mm -hmm. get my basics, you know, I, I, I can't complain. I think I need to take up, you know, orphanage. I think I need to take it seriously. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, from next year, I'll do that. Don't worry, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, you please do. Because <laughs> um, just listening to it, I'm like, okay, no, but you are better off. I mean, why no, can't you? You can do it. You why yeah. can't you? You so can do it. Okay, we have just about three more minutes, so oh, I'm just going well. to let everyone say their own thoughts for Christmas, Christmas wishes before we round off. We'll mm -hmm. start with Vanessa. <laughs> First of all, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> Literally, everybody. You know me, I know you. You don't know me, Shout I don't out. know you. <laughs> Shout out. Shout <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. So basically, um, I wish us a better 2021. Mm. Yes, 2020. Ah, boy, they were shouting, You go see 2020. We're shouting, Vision 2020. Vision 2020. We saw it, we came, we saw, we conquered. We conquered. Yes, we we out and mm. um, I thank God for life. Mm. My birthday is a couple of days oh. so i am really grateful so for what's life. the plan and what's the um, the plan is first of all to thank god i do really give him all the glory honor as in i'm alive yeah. and counted among the living mm -hmm. i'm healthy i don't have any ailments i don't have any problem no stress mm -hmm. um like kemi said we people haven't seen salaries mm -hmm. um some have seen half so i'm not seeing it in months mm -hmm. there's no hope for it but well yeah mm -hmm. we're leaving and um, as long as there's life there's hope so for me it's just going to be the usual same old same old <laughs> that's just it <laughs> okay, all right um i think mine is a word of encouragement because uh, a lot of people are still recovering from the whole covid experience and then afterwards, soon afterwards, while people were trying to recover, there was the answers and yes. everything. So many lives were lost. And um, so it's been a trying year, you know. So I think everyone should take this time to reflect yeah. mm -hmm. on how they've lived and the adjustments they need to make. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because COVID was just a, a warning. It took everyone by surprise. Nigerians don't really have a saving culture or an investment culture. We need to prioritize. You know, we just get money and the next day, hey, I've bought a big car. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've done this, I've done that. I think, I was telling someone yesterday, where would you want to be in the next five years? I asked him that because he was just grumbling and complaining and like he doesn't have a good job. I said there are people who would do anything for the job you have. So I think that you should project where you want to be and then have a plan and work towards achieving it. That's the way forward. I mean, grumbling about it won't change anything. So I think um, we should all take time out to plan and um, live better lives if we plan and then just have a Merry Christmas. However, um, you can spend it. You don't need to go overboard. Mm. I think we should just be thankful for life yeah. and the privilege we've had to be here. Yeah. That's it. For me, it's easy. Um, I just want to say thank you to all, all the people who have been there for me this year. I've had a very challenging year. Um, I wish you Merry Christmas. Uh, sorry, your, your wedding is on the 26th. I won't be able to attend. I love you, baby girl. Um, thank you, NTA family. This year, you have been the one thing I look forward to. Um, I always have fun being here. Um, next year will be better. Just hang in there. Mm -hmm. Be strong. Eat what you can. If it is egg you can afford, eat it eat and be eggs. happy. <laughs> Share. You know, if you can't afford turkey, eat chicken. If you can't afford chicken, eat ice fish. If you can't afford ice fish, eat egg. Just be happy. It's mm. Merry Christmas from me. Merry Christmas to you, Chi. I see you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so rounding off, I would just like to say thank you to all the viewers out there who have supported us uh, in the conversation room through the years. Um, every For every message you've sent on our social media handles, for every like, uh, liked post on Instagram or Facebook. Thank you. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We love you and stay safe. Goodbye. Bye.